How do I say goodbye to what we had? Hey man, say man. If y'all not know what's going on, we done had some tragic news. We gonna be posting out later on today, man. Life, you know what I'm saying? It's tough, man. Can we have a moment of silence real quick? We done lost so many people, man. I feel, man, I really feel like something don't want me to give out these messages. You know what I'm saying? You know, you, 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 people being that life or gone instances, man. You know what I'm saying? The war is continuing, man. Spiritual war, physical war. We just got to understand, man, that, you know, we, we live so fast and sometimes we miss the little things in life, you know what I'm saying? You know, with this mission that I've been on to try to help Save and help people out and let people know what's going on, man. You know, being being in this in this in this spiritual war, this this genocide over Black Americans and the Hebrew Israelites, man. You know, I see that the jungle, man, is unforgiving. You know what I'm saying, and. I think the whole goal is for people to make it. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, when you see something in your community or just in general, like it's in, in just in like the black culture, and you see that it's taking these people out left and right, man, you know, you wanna, you wanna see it get fixed. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, with being the positive, you know, it's always gonna be negative. And if, you know, you positive, and you trying to let people know, hey, don't do that, don't go to that spot, don't do this, you start being a target. You did? Because they see that you trying to help people out, you know what I'm saying, in the community, and culture. One thing that they wanna see about black people is, Renewing and being a better version of themselves. They don't want to see us come together, bruh. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes our past get caught up with our future, man. That's what people don't talk about, man. We don't want to live in the past, man. But I feel like... I feel like, man, the past is going to always come back to hunt. No matter how... You look at it, man. You know what I'm saying? And you know, me growing up, so many life or death situations, man. You know, people be grateful to be alive, you know what I'm saying? This is the spiritual stuff, they want us gone, man. You know what I'm saying? When you when you bring attention to certain situations and you see the game for what the game is, man. You never know what type of attack they'll send your way, man. You know what I'm saying? Now, motherfuckers will send all types of situations and obstacles at your way to try to take you out. You did crip. And, you know, when they see, when somebody see you doing just a little bit better than what they doing, They'll try anything. You know what I'm saying? In this ongoing cycle versus good versus evil, man. You know, some people, they pick their sides, man. You did? And some people, man, you fuck. Like, you might fuck with these niggas, man. You might fuck with these people, man. 
But you never know what their true intentions is. And what they do behind closed doors. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, you know, I get online to help people out. To let people know that, hey, this shit just don't happen by accident. They are intentionally putting a genocide out on black people, man. Spiritually, mentally, and physically, man. They want you to lose your mind. They want they want you to know about yourself. Or they want you locked up or dead. You know what I'm saying? People don't understand that the game is so fucked up that the 12 be working with your ops to get you out the paint. You know what I'm saying? And like I always say, man, it's a spiritual war. So it's like the people out to get you is a part of the whole situation. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, we live this life, man, and you start figuring out that, damn, man, why don't they want black people to succeed? You know what I'm saying? And then when people, then when black people do succeed, why don't we have more black influential to talk about what's really going on in the community. Why do certain black people when they get to when they get to a certain situation they just stop talking about black people in general. They don't talk about what they don't try to fight for black people. It's like they just sell out. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers don't never see, they don't never say nothing about black people about what's really going on. They like they stay in their own little lane and don't even try to help What's really going on in the situation? It's like, you know, you just start thinking like, damn, man, we losing so we losing so many many people to this war, man. And our black people just they just get money out and just don't even talk on the situation. They don't they don't even feel they don't they, they don't even feel good enough to even speak on it. And it's sad because it's like. That can easily be you. You know what I'm saying? And I honestly feel like something don't want me to give out this information. Something don't want me to tell people to, to wake the fuck up and see that we are targets. Which they, and I feel like a lot of people know that they targets. It just, you know, this system wants your mind. It, it wants you to be delusional, illusion. It don't really want you to understand that almost everything in America is, is meant to, to make the black man fall. Everything is meant for the black man to fall. Black people, to, for the black woman to fall. It's meant for us to stay at the bottom. That's what America is. It's meant to keep us at the bottom. It's meant to keep us down. So, and it's meant to be. It make the it make the bad guys look like the good guys, like the cops. It make the, the bad cops look like they're the good guys. And they and they killing us. And then our own people, we get self in this not ongoing rat race between who gonna be the biggest and who gonna succeed just to win in this whitewashed culture, in this whitewashed system. And it's like, damn, man. The only sometimes the only way for niggas to make it out is to take each other out. And the white man just sit back and draw the strings and, and, and set it all up. You know, it's sad, man. You know, that's all I should tell y'all niggas. Stay woke. This is a spiritual war. What's meant to happen is gonna always happen. It's up to us to fight back against this spiritual war. And you, or if not, you will get set up and done up, taken out easily. And I feel like 
I've been getting spiritually attacked, but I, like I said, man, if I wasn't who I say I was, man, you know, this would be tough. But like I said, I am. Chosen by Yahweh, you know what I'm saying? Blessed, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, with, with all that, it comes with spiritual gifts, spiritual protection. To know when the enemy might try to get the drop on you. You know what I'm saying? It's up to us. Yahweh chosen people to listen to the signs. And still we're going to get that protection back. You know. That's why I continue to fight. For people to know the truth that. Good and evil is real. And that we is in a spiritual attack. You know what I'm saying? And some people, some people have done already chose their side and fell victim to the system. And that we need to understand that when we get that chance to survive, we gotta let other people know what's going on. Because if we don't, what's the point of us surviving? And we're the only ones just to survive, and we can't help out nobody else. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, man, beware of spiritual attacks and, yo, and, and, and look at the signs, man. Situation in this life, man. We start to stay cautious. Keep, keep your spirit, spiritual circle tight like a, like a dot. We can help people out, but at the same time, we can't fall to the system of this world, man. And what? America's real goal is to keep the black man down, to suppress us, to take our energy, to take our spiritual gifts, to take our culture, and to use us and throw us away. At the end of the day, that's what America is made of. Our blood, sweat, and tears, us dying, our bones, nothing but them killing us, hanging us, torturing us, setting us up to go against our own people. That is what America is, is to keep the black person down. And we gotta wake up, we in a spiritual war, man. And if we don't wake up the fuck up, man, they trying to get us out the paint, nigga. So I hope y'all understand what's going on, man. Share the video out to let people know what's going on in this world, man. We in a spiritual war, this shit is real. It's good versus evil, man. And it's, and, it's, and we gotta understand, man, that a lot of people is not gonna make it, man. But we still gotta fight and help the people out who can, man. And let people understand that we already won. The black people, we already won. So if you have faith, man, in Yahweh, man, we already won, man. Hood, no, stop,